Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm Haley. I do weekly videos all about how to make your life better through things like organization, productivity, and of course, health and fitness. So click that subscribe button if you guys want daily and weekly motivation and check out my social media where you can continue to be inspired. So we're gonna do a cool video today all about homework hacks how to study efficiently, and I'm gonna share my favorite tools and apps with you guys so that way you can ace your tests and your exams this year. All right, so I'm going to be sharing five main tips. Yes, I meant to spell main this way. It is my branding. If you guys didn't know, I am the founder of May Movement, which is an empowering lifestyle brand where you guys can go to www.maymovement.com to find all of my eBooks and nutrition guides there. So without further ado, this video has five main points that are going to help you get through school. Plus, I'm going to be sharing some study recipes with you. So let's get started. The first thing I always will say is to be organized. And if you guys missed my most recent video all about note taking and organization, I will have that linked up here as well as down below. Check it out because one of the things that will save you the most time when preparing for a test or doing homework is to already have everything organized for you so you're not flipping through things, you're not searching for papers or key points or notes or anything like that. It's all organized for you guys. So like I said, that will be down below. So in addition to saying organized, this is something I touched on in my last video a little bit, but I'll go a bit further with you guys. It's to take additional notes. So as you're doing your homework, if there's something that comes up that you're not sure about, write it down and address it to your teacher the next day or ask a friend. One of my favorite study tips and productivity tips is time block and reward. So first, you need to actually set aside specific time. You can't just say, well, I have a test on Thursday, so on Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to study. What you need to do is look at your planner and say, okay, at this specific time, I will study this specific subject. I also have a video talking about how to stay organized and how to efficiently study for your test. So I will have that also linked here and down below for you guys. But what you wanna do is set aside certain time blocks for certain subjects. And then after you complete those study times, you can reward yourself. So let's say you wanna go see a movie. You want to go get Froyo or something like that. Don't necessarily give into it until you get the studying done. There's actually a reason that people suggest having a snack while you study. It actually keeps your brain stimulated. It's similar to the same effect that gum chewing has in, on your brain. I highly recommend having a snack with you before you start getting your studying done because if you're hungry, your mind is going to wander, you're going to be thinking about getting a snack, you're going to A, not study as efficiently, and B, you're going to waste more time going and getting a snack, coming back, and then trying to get in the groove. So what I'm gonna do is share with you guys one of my favorite snack recipes for studying because it's full of protein and fibers. Both of those things are very, very satiating and will keep you feeling full, you'll keep you feeling focused and energized. So let's get into the recipe. I have more awesome back to school recipes in my new back to school ebook. It's a nutrition and recipe guide all for students, busy moms, people who need quick on the go, healthy macro friendly meals. So I will have that linked down below for you guys. It's currently on sale for $4.99. So definitely check that out if you need some quick recipe ideas. I'm somebody who likes to constantly like graze on food. So the coffee trail mix is one of my favorites. This coffee trail mix recipe is not only going to have a little bit of caffeine in it to wake you up, but it's a very good fiber and high protein snack. You're getting good amounts of high quality fats from the coconut and the almonds as well as fiber. Plus the coffee beans give you a little bit of that energy boost and the chocolate is also a natural energy booster and it's a little sweet so it's kind of rewarding yourself for all of your hard studying. The edamame is one of my favorites because it's a great way to add crunch. The fat and carb content is a little bit lower. So my last study tip is to make it fun and I know that it probably sounds like of course like why wouldn't you want to make it fun but like how do you do that? The cool thing about today's day and age is that we have apps for literally everything. We didn't have this when I was in high school and I totally wish we did because I probably would have been like 4.0. Maybe not. I wasn't that great at math. 
This is a new app that I want to share with you guys and I am so excited about it. You know when you would go to class and you would feel a little bit nervous because maybe you had some missing answers on your homework. You just didn't know how to find the answers. You couldn't understand it. You get called on to answer the question and you're like, I don't know what it is. That was me in math all the time and I would dread it. So this is a brand new app. So this app is called Socratic. It's a free download. It's super easy to use. It's kind of like having your own personal tutor. All you're gonna do is take a photo of your homework, take photos of specific questions, and you get instant web results. You can have videos, definitions, you can do math equations. So instead of me just talking about it, I'm gonna show you how this works and I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here. So let's walk through this and show you guys how to do it. So when you download the app and you open it, this is what you're gonna see. You can take a photo of your homework, but we're gonna type in a question first. So I want to know when was Pearl Harbor? So we're gonna type that in. Now you can see that we have all these different results. There's a question area, so it's giving you the quick kind of easy answer. You can also see the web results. You have things like the History Channel, Wikipedia, different sources for you guys. There's definition area. It's very, very multi-functional. You get a lot of different options for your answer. Okay, so how about math? Can we do math equations? Yes, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, I really wish I would have had this back in the day. This would have been so cool. But you can even do things for trigonometry. They have like cosine functions and all of that. You just type it in. Or like I said, you can take a photo of your equation if you're stuck on one and you can have all of the information brought up to you. So let's go back and see what happens when we take a photo of our homework. Okay, so we're gonna do this chemistry question and see what we get. So all of our results come up and you guys can sort through them. There's charts, there's infographics, there's pictures, all kinds of things to help you guys understand it better. It's not only giving you the answer, but I feel that this app can help you to further understand your questions on your homework, which is amazing. Also, if you wanted to know things for like a language class, you have that capability too. You could type in how do I say sorry in German and it will come up for you. Or we can do Russian because Russian's cooler and more confusing. Fun fact, I was just telling Josh about this app because he's still in high school and he downloaded it because he has a little bit of trouble with language, like the tenses and everything. So he's been using it for Spanish and he said that it's helped him out a lot because whatever he's not getting from the teacher, he's able to understand better this way. It's a filtered information system and he said that it's really easy to use. So that is firsthand account information from my brother, solid. So let's do a quick little recap for you guys so I am leaving you feeling confident about this school year. Number one, organization is key. Check out my latest video all about organizing your notes. Number two, be prepared with a healthy snack. You guys, this trail mix recipe, love it. I've been snacking on it constantly because when I get those dips in the work day, you know what I'm saying? I go for the coffee and I go for the crunch and when you put the two together, it's magical. I love it. And the third tip, is to make it fun. Download Socratic so you guys can have all the homework help you need. Think about all the time you're saving with the homework. You can put towards projects, studying, and other fun things. And then in R&R time, you're just gonna be breezing through this year and feeling like on top of the world, like. It's safe to say that if I was in high school, I would not be in the cool crowd. And I'm starting to get like that mom thing where I'm just not cool anymore. Been out of high school for too long. Yep. Sorry. So you guys ask me all the time for homework apps and this one I feel so confident in sharing with you guys. So if you guys would like to download Socratic, I will have everything down below for you. It is a free download. It is only available for iOS right now, but hopefully, fingers crossed, Android will be coming out soon. I will let you know when that does. I will put that link down there as well. But this is really your one stop shop sort of thing for homework because you are getting the amount of information that is on the web filtered for you guys through these videos, explanations, Q and A's, definitions. You couldn't ask for a better homework app. So let me know if you guys get the app. I'd love to hear your feedback, how you like it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Before I go, I want to share a couple more tips with you guys on how to make studying super easy and 
effective. Number one. So good lighting increases productivity. So make sure that when you go to study or do your homework, you are in a well-lit environment. If you need to get a task lamp, I highly recommend doing that. You can pick them up for super cheap at places like Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, and they are a lifesaver for those late night study sessions. Put this baby on airplane mode. It is a distraction. I can't tell you how much I click on dumb things on my phone when I'm bored or my brain starts to wander when I'm trying to work. Music. I think that music can be very beneficial with studying, so I will have linked down below some of my favorite playlists for concentration and studying. The last tip is to move your body. Now, this is something that I highly encourage you guys to do. I set alarms on my phone for every half hour or every hour, depending on what I'm doing, and I will take a couple minutes to just move, whether I'm standing there and I'll do 30 squats every half hour, 30 push-ups every half hour, or take a five minute walk. Not only does it increase energy to help you stay more alert during your study sessions, it actually improves your brain function. So I highly encourage you guys to get moving during your study sessions, even if it is just for a short little interval. So those are my top study tips. If you guys want more school related videos, comment down below what you guys want to see. I will have all of my back to school videos linked down below as well as where you can get my new eBooks guys. These are seriously the most amazing things like we've got donuts and we've got pumpkin cheesecake bars coming in my fall guide the ones that you can get from starbucks and these are like literally nowhere even close to the macros in those don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media i will have everything somewhere over here probably down below as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye, bye.